Ba Gua Zhang, or Eight Trigrams Palm, is attributed to its founder, Dong Hai Chuan, who lived in the late Qing Dynasty. From him, the art branched off into various sub-lineages. Characteristically, it features circle walking with continuous movement, with techniques executed while stepping. It features refined body mechanics and practical technique changes. In this primer video, I shall cover further foundational basic skills that one should develop initially. I shall cover their fundamental details and methods as I was taught within my line of Liang style Ba Gua Zhang. In general, the basic methods and practices I shall present here are beneficial to practitioners of all styles of Ba Gua Zhang. Tang Ni Bu, or mud wading step, is one of the main stepping methods within Ba Gua Zhang practice. Differing lineages practice certain aspects of this step differently. Some feature a friction sliding action, while others do not. This aside, they share many aspects between them. Here, I will cover the Liang style basic version, which does feature this friction sliding action. Tang Ni Bu develops power and stability while stepping. Here, I will cover the straight line version, which one should develop prior to moving on to the circle walking version. Standing upright with your feet next to one another, slowly raise both your arms to either side of your body with the palms up. Then draw them in and press them downwards to form the Sha Chen Zhang or downward sinking palms upper body configuration. Lower your center of gravity and bend your knees slightly as you push your palms down. Both arms are slightly bent and rounded with the fingers of each hand pointing towards one another. The knees are closed tightly and must not splay outwards. Press the crown of the head up. Liang style Tang Ni Bu features five key actions, namely Deng or pedaling, Mo or rubbing, Ti or kicking, Tang or wading and Cai or stamping. Each step features these five aspects. Dung or pedaling is the action of pushing off with the rear leg to mobilize the mass and shift it forwards. More or rubbing refers to the rear leg moving forwards with the inner portion of both feet making contact and rubbing one another as the foot steps through. T or kicking refers to the action of the leg as it steps out ahead and its required force and intent. Tang or wading refers to the friction slide that the foot must execute as it lands on the floor. Tsai or stamping is the action of the foot firmly planting and rooting at the end of the step with the toes gripping the floor tightly. Each one of these five aspects must be present in every single step executed and manifest at the required point in the step in order to develop the required traits of Tang Ni Bu. Initially, it is advisable to practice in a staccato manner in order to clearly execute each aspect of the step correctly while maintaining your balance and posture. When stepping the foot out ahead, ensure there is a snapping, kicking intention. Each step should hide a kick. When wading and sliding the foot, ensure your rear leg pushes your mass forward with force. When the rear foot passes the front foot, ensure the two feet closely rub one another, which ensures that the knees are closed and do not open laterally at any point. The sole should be as close to horizontal as possible when wading and sliding ahead, and you should continue to keep your knees closed throughout. The foot should land firmly and solidly at the end of each step, gripping the floor. Practice the stepping method in a straight line while ensuring that the upper body is upright and centered with the crown of the head pressing up. The two arms should maintain a downward sinking energy with the shoulders settled. Keep the center of gravity as stable as possible without excessive rising and falling while stepping. Practice until you are able to maintain all the requirements while stepping in a continuous and fluid manner before moving on to circle walking. Shang Bu Chuan Zhang 
or Advancing Step Piercing Palm features the execution of Chuan Zhang while stepping and advancing ahead in a straight line. This practice is a key basic line drill within Liang style Bagua Zhang. Standing upright with the feet next to one another, execute the actions to form the Lao Sung Tuo Bo posture, which was covered in a previous Bagua Zhang 10 minute primer. The key actions are a Pi Zhang or chop, a Gai Zhang or cover, and a Chuan Zhang or piercing palm. From the Lao Sung Tuo Bo posture, advance the front foot forward half a step as you orient the palms vertically while forming the Niu She Zhang or Ox Tongue Palm shape, which was covered in a previous primer. From here, step through ahead with the rear leg as you execute a Chuan Zhang in line with the standard method explained in the first 10 minute primer. Continue in this manner, alternating between the left and the right sides as you execute advancing step piercing palms in an aligned stance or Shun Bu, which features the same side hand and foot extending out ahead. Each step features a half step with the front foot, followed by the rear foot stepping through out ahead and then the rear foot follows in half a step. When reaching the end of a line with the right hand extended, execute a Bai Bu or toe out hooking step with the right leg, followed by a Ko Bu or toe in hooking step with the left leg to turn to the right 180 degrees. As you do this, you execute the chop, cover and pierce palms once again to form the Lao Sun Tuo Bo posture. Should you reach the end of a line with the left hand extended, simply execute a Ko Bu or toe in hooking step with the left foot and still turn to your right 180 degrees as you execute the chop, cover and pierce to form the Lao Sung Tuo Bo posture. From here you continue to execute advancing step piercing palms for as many lines as you desire. When executing the piercing palm, it is important to ensure that your piercing hand follows closely along the underside of your extended forearm as it travels out ahead to pierce to nose height. Time your piercing palm to arrive at its target as your front foot lands and ensure the focus of force is on the fingertips of your piercing palm. Continue to practice repetitions of this line drill until the action is coordinated and features sharp, focused whole body power. Ensure each individual aspect of the sequence is executed correctly and conforms to its requirements. While deeper details regarding these foundational basic skill practices, their variations and applications should be attained through direct transmission by learning from an authentic teacher. I have presented here fundamental practices within my Liang style Bagua Zhang line. The details covered in this primer video will enable you to begin or correct your practice.